Okay, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm going to show you how to make this machine. Uh, it looks kind of bad, uh, but you can clean it up a bit if you want. Uh, when you're finished making it, I'm going to show you how to make it. And this is the end result. Uh, basically, every uh, the bottom chest is coal, and oops, uh, is you have coal in it because it'll go into the bottom of the furnace and the top will be iron because it'll go to the bottom uh, just because this is the top and this is the bottom and it'll send any uh, the reason these are here is because if this gets full instead of just leaking out everywhere uh, all the excess will go into here but also sometimes it will go in there anyways uh, as you can see right now it uh, I believe it it just kind of depends on what it feels like doing, I guess. Um, how it's working right now, I think it's uh, putting uh, five in here and then one in there. Uh, just kind of depends if you change it up. Make it so that's not there anymore. Add it again, and it'll change it how it works. But uh, yeah, I'll be showing you how to make it. All right, so let's get started. First, you're going to put a chest anywhere you like on the ground, and then you're going to have to build a dirt tower uh, and put a block right above the chest so you can place a chest right here. And uh, you're going to put a wooden pipe uh, connected to this chest and also to that chest and to get there I just stack the wooden pipes real quick and then off of this you're going to put a stone pipe it doesn't matter how long they are as uh, long as they're stone pipes uh, I usually do one or two right now I'm just gonna do uh, two and I always do that So it's going to look like that right now, and then you're going to put a furnace right in the middle of the two, and it'll connect. As you can see, the top one is going into the top slot, it looks like. So that's what uh, you have to do. You put the iron ore in the top, because that's what you're smelting, and you put the coal in the bottom one, and then you're going to put a side pipe that will take all of the uh, things that you smelt out of it. And I'll put a, another thing just like you did here because it's going to be opening to allow the iron ingots to go through here. And put a chest like so. You can uh, make it two chests if you want. I will. Uh, then you're going to make a fast repeater, super repeater, whatever you want to call it. It's a fast clock sometimes I call it. Um, two blocks like that. Most people know how to make these. I uh, redstone torch on each side of both blocks like that. Redstone on top. Redstone and down the middle and it'll constantly flash. And so you'll take this and put a block uh, behind this wooden pipe so you can have a redstone line going up to it and then you are going to have one that goes to these wooden pipes like that and uh, one that goes to this wooden pipe oops like that and so it'll allow all the iron and coal to go through there but the problem is that after a while it'll get overfilled if you have more than one stack in your chest and so it will uh, start to just pop out so to fix that you're going to dig a hole under it and uh, just put a stone pipe like that 
leading into a chest. Whoops, that needs to be wooden. The one next to the chest needs to be wooden. Like that. And then you're going to have another redstone line that will go over to this so it's always open. Like that. And you're going to do the same thing with the iron ore. So put that there. And put that there. I can manage to put it there. Like that. Just. And uh, I'm. And see, it uh, goes into the chest. I'm not sure if you actually do have to connect it. Oh, you don't even have to keep it open. So you don't have to do this. You don't have to have an annoying redstone path. You can just do it like that. And as you can see, there's plenty of iron ore and coal in there. And every once in a while, coal will go down here. Uh, sometimes it's... Uh, it goes down there a bit too much, but that's how you do it. Um, this way there won't be any excess. And also if it gets, if it somehow gets 64 in there, it will stop feeding that and it'll all just go there until it can feed that again. Same as uh, for the coal. So that's how you do it. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, I'm glad. and. Keep enjoying because I plan to make more guides uh, for build craft type things and they're going to be some that are going to be advanced and some that are going to be simple. I'll try to do my best uh, when I do the guides and I'll see you guys later.